Welcome. Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this video is when should you lower your insulin levels? This video is part of a trilogy, three simple videos which I consider crucial if you want to understand health. One is, when should you keep your insulin as it is? This, when should you lower your insulin levels? And three, when should you raise your insulin level? But you can't answer these questions unless you have an insulin test done. I consider three hour insulin profile as the single most important test. I was appointed the director of laboratories of a major laboratory back in 1974, and our laboratory did about 125 million tests plus during the years that I directed that laboratory. I bring my background only to underscore the importance of what I'm saying. The single most important test that anybody should have is a three hour insulin profile. When should you lower it? Well, if you have too much insulin, if you have too much insulin, it is fattening, it is inflaming, it damages your heart, it damages your kidney, it damages your eyes, it sets the stage for memory loss, organic brain disease, Alzheimer's disease. Indeed, there is no disease known to me, the risk of which is not increased by insulin toxicity. If your peak insulin level is over 30, you should lower it. If it is over 60, you should lower it with more diligent efforts. If your peak insulin level is 160, please know that you are in deep trouble metabolically. Even if you are a thin person, a peak insulin. Now the highest insulin that I've seen was 711 in a person who consulted me for disabling neuropathy, numbness, tingling, pain. He couldn't walk. He had seen more than three neurologists in New York City. None of them had thought about insulin toxicity as the cause of neuropathy, which in my experience is the most common cause of neuropathy. So if you have numbness, tingling, pain, or if your ankles are swollen, the likelihood is that you're insulin toxic. You need to do that and then you need to lower it. How do you lower it? Well, watch the companion video, Dr. Ali's Insulin Reduction Diet Plan. I am not trying to belabor this point without valid reason. I consider making people insulin conscious and help people learn ins eat insulin smart and think insulin smart as one of my primary missions at this encyclopedia. That's how important it is to me. And that's how important it should be to you. Please forward this YouTube segment to your friends and join our mission to provide authentic information which is free of cost, corporate deceptions, commercial conflicts, and ideological distortion. And of course, it is free of course for people all over the world. Thank you. Thank you so much.